Illyria is calling on the owners of a new hotel, a now rundown hotel to take accountability. This month, the city filed a lawsuit over the former Days Inn off Route 57. We told you when the previous owners were ordered to shut it down and sell it back in 2020, they did. But the current owners never reopened the hotel. Court records detail years of building code violations, drug activity, fire hazards. News 5's Catherine Ross spoke to city leaders today about their concerns and with the property owner about why he has yet to address them. It may not look it now, but longtime Illyrians will tell you this used to be the place to be. This property was the, the meeting place for weddings and graduation ceremonies and reunions, and they had a bar and a ballroom and the hotel. You know, that was then, and now it's just been falling on uh, really tough times. The hotel near Route 57 in the Midway Mall has gone by several names over the years, most recently operating as a Days Inn until it closed in 2020. Since then, the city says it's fallen into disrepair. This is an albatross. Uh, when you got the Turnpike and I-90 right here and we get some redevelopment coming in this area. The city says this property with its boarded up windows and overgrown vegetation is certainly an eyesore, but the fire chief tells us this property is also one of his biggest safety concerns in the city. It's uh, probably one of the most dangerous buildings in the city as far as the safety of my firefighters. Many of those concerns are detailed in this lawsuit filed by the city this month. Court documents call the property a menace to public health citing reports of squatters, drug activity, and numerous building and fire code violations. The civil case pins the blame on an out-of-state owner, Sweet Living LLC, for abandonment and inadequate maintenance. Uh, seven, eight years that we've been dealing with this, and now it's time that, that we have to act and be a little bit more harsher uh, in the way that we react to this. Hello? We reached out to the property owner. By phone, uh, Shahid Sheikh told us he wasn't uh, aware of the lawsuit, and he says he's been waiting to see what the future holds for the Midway Mall before investing or selling the property. We're not looking to be uh, an obstacle to progress. We're, we're looking to, uh, you know, either be part of it or you know, put it in qualified hands. Sheikh says he'd like to discuss making the days in part of a pending deal for the mall with a commercial rehab group. That project promises to bring new life to this area of Illyria. And city leaders say that's also their hope for the former hotel. And making a sustainable, respectable place for residents to see and then visitors coming into our city. The city says it's still awaiting a response from the property owner. In Elyria, Catherine Ross, News 5.